Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your clips look really cinematic in Vegas Pro 15. So let's get right into this tutorial. The first thing you want to do is come up here to the project video properties. Um, after this shows up, uh, you want to go to the frame rate and then 24, which says film. It makes it look a lot uh, more cinematic. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is make the black bars that appear on the top and bottom and make your clip look really nice that you go to the event pan crop tool which brings up this and you, you want to make sure none of these are uh, highlighted or else it's going to mess up the scaling so you just want to go to the bottom here and just drag this up and you see the black bars appear at the top and the bottom after you do that you can just excise this and we're not going to need that but you can go back in here and bring this up and down so, yeah, there's all kinds of different spots you can put it, uh, whatever looks best for your clip. So I'm going to leave it right there. And then the next thing you want to do is go over here to the effects. After you come here to the effects, uh, I already have an effect on here, but uh, you want to go to the effects right here. And then uh, you want to look for color corrector, push add, and... And then you want to go to, so you want to come here to uh, brightness and contrast. Once you find that, just push add. And then you can push OK. That's all we're going to need for the effects. So once the contrast window opens up here, you can just drag the contrast up. This makes the darks, uh, the blacks on your clip blacker and the whites on your clip whiter. Uh, if you go way too much, it looks like that. And then, so you got to find the right spot in here. Um, I think this looks pretty good right here. Contrast center. Uh, this just kind of makes it a uh, lighter or darker. I like to put on the darker side, and then brightness. Uh, that's basically very similar to the contrast center. Uh, when it comes to making like your clip look good. So after you do that, you can come over to the color corrector, and you see these three things right here. You can mess with these if you want. It's kind of complicated. If you want me to explain that, I can leave it to another video, but uh, it takes a lot more time to get used to those. But the easiest way to do this is come up here to where it says default, come here and then go to whatever one of these looks the best. These I think look a little bit too strong, like that looks way too red. But if you go down here, maybe like red highlight, it looks a little bit better. But I think this clip blue would look good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, look, looks very cinematic okay so once we do that uh, that's all we're going to need for the effects and our clip is almost done I like to make it a little bit slow motion if it's like an action shot or if it's just a little bit bumpy or something so I'm just going to render out this clip into my RAM so yeah so far it's, also, it's already looking pretty good I think we can get rid of that blue I don't really like how that blue looks um, Can just mess around with these for fine adjustments here. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. It's not as blue anymore. So if we play back the clip here, it looks really cool. It looks a lot better than it did before. Uh, I'm just gonna drag it in to show you what it looked like before here. So yeah, it definitely made it a million times better. So this can work for almost any clip. Some clips look better like with these and then some clips you're going to have to change a little bit. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe um, and subscribe to my channel if you like the video and leave a comment if you have any more questions. So yeah, thanks for watching.